Hey guys, I'm Maddie Martin, and this is Breaking the Set. So I just got back from a jam-packed weekend in Los Angeles, where I had the opportunity to attend and speak at a revolutionary event called the Zeitgeist Media Festival. There, I not only got to promote this show, but I also got to talk about the importance of bridging art and activism. And on top of that, I sat down with two awesome comedians and modern-day philosophers, Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell, for their epic podcasts. It was a crazy ride, but now I'm back, and I'm ready to break the set. So guys, I just got back from an incredible trip to Los Angeles. I went there to attend the Zeitgeist Media Festival, an annual event that bridges the artistic and activist communities together to inspire positive change. Throughout the course of the day, there were multiple speakers, musical performances, and artists at work. Being an artist and activist myself, it was an honor to relay my message and the message of this show to the hundreds of people that attended. Here's a snippet of the talk I gave while there. The warped value system in which we live has conditioned us to consider art as something unattainable, as something unapproachable, as a rich man's hobby, like President Bush. Because the powers that be know that only through artistic expression and imagination, which go hand in hand, can we envision a better world and work to create one. If you're passionate about something, it is in part your responsibility to express that passion and reflect it in the medium that speaks most to you. So I implore all of you to heed the great Nina Simone's advice. In a world so corrupt with so much injustice, is it not our duty to reflect the ugly truths instead of feeding into the very institutions that work to suppress them? And is it not our duty to imagine something greater that we know is possible, that we all deserve for the sake of the planet and relay that vision to change and inspire the world. As amazing as it was to speak to such an energetic crowd, I was equally excited to talk to some of the greatest minds behind the media revolution. Tyrell Ventura is one of them. He's not only the son of Jesse Ventura, but he's also paving the way in new media with a show called Buzzsaw. I asked him why he thinks art has the ability to push movement. And here's what he had to say. Through great art comes great change. Cultures will always go to art first when they want to learn about themselves. You know, sometimes news can be dry or, you know, dark and depressing. And sometimes in order to learn about the human experience, you have to, you, you, artists are there to tell us what the human experience is. But it's not just about how art can relay powerful political messages through symbolism. It's also about how we can use our imagination to mold art in its most natural form. And that's exactly what Zeitgeist founder Peter Joseph elaborated on. If you look at nature and the system that it is as this, as this preset kind of sculpture, it's a mold. And we've slowly, become, uh, slowly been able to learn about it. And unlike any other species in the world, we can shape it. So we can actually engage the world and create it and alter it and morph it and sculpt it and make it to our betterment, or we can use it to... That's right. It's about actively engaging with each other and harmonizing with the earth to cultivate a better future. I left this festival with a greater understanding of this notion and how it can be achieved together. But it wasn't only the ideas that impacted me. It was all the people that I met there from all walks of life who showed enormous love and support for this show and its message. So thank you for all the inspiration. It gave me a renewed strength and reminded me why I'm here every day breaking the set.